welcome to a brand new video if you're new around here please make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss an upload from me but today we are moving from our Anaheim hotel we are saying goodbye to the Sherrington Park hotel it has been lovely for the past seven days and we are heading to the Garland in Hollywood so we've packed up all of our suitcases we just went for a little walk around um, garden walks near our hotel and just went for a Starbucks I've had the last few days off vlogging, we've um, been seeing my great aunt who lives um, not too far away from our hotel so we've been spending some time with her. I'll probably put a few like pictures and clips in of um, kind of what we've been doing but we've just been kind of, we went to Huntington Beach and had a walk around there, went to a few shops, went to a Costco, Knott's Berry Farm for some um, lunch and stuff so yeah it's been really nice. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew How much I miss But I thought I'd pick up my camera again as we're heading to Hollywood. Um, we're going to be checking into our hotel. We've got to get an Uber from Anaheim to Hollywood. I think it's going to cost around $80 because it is about an hour's drive. And then we we'll probably won't be able to check into our room yet. I doubt it will be ready because um, checking is at 4 o'clock and we have to check out of our hotel at 11. So we're probably just going to drop our bags off and then head to Universal City Walk. As included in the Garlands, they have like a free shuttle bus that um, takes us from the hotel to City Walk. So yeah, probably take you along for that. But I thought I'd pick it up again, say goodbye to the room. All of our suitcases are there. Hopefully we can find an Uber that fits everything in there. But yeah, probably goodbye to this view. I'll put a picture in what the fog looked like this morning, but you literally could not see past kind of that hotel over there. It was so thick. But yeah, it's still lovely weather today. It's getting warmer as the morning goes on. But yeah, I said goodbye to Disney. Well, the Gardens of the Galaxy ride because that's the only thing you can see kind of from the walk. But yeah, let's head down and check out this hotel. So we have just arrived at the Garland and our room was ready so I thought I would quickly do a room tour before all of our luggage comes back up. Uh, we managed to leave it literally as we got off the Uber and um, someone offered to take it on their trolley cart for us so we're on the sixth floor which would be quite stressful trying to get that all up so yeah I thought I would do a room tour. We're in a two queen size room uh on the sixth floor like i said and we've got a little balcony which is lovely but i will start at the door of our room so we've got a little lobby area which has a nice big mirror there and you've got like a do not disturb sign on there i love all of the kind of like vibe of this it's very like 70s retro kind of vibes you've got some little hooks there you've got a little kind of like bench that would probably fit a few suitcases on there so you can get them out of the way then you've got the bathroom which let me see there you go which is a really decent size as well you've got some cool artwork which is like this line print of paramount pictures you've got some hooks there a nice big shower you've got some lava body wash hair wash and cream rinse then all that is the shower doesn't look the greatest but hopefully it's quite powerful 
you've got some little products over here there oh i think this is probably the information about the products that you get you've got a body soap a moisturizer and a little vanity kit toilets there you've got a nice big mirror with a massive light you've got some face soap there and you've got one of these massive mirrors that is quite scary uh doesn't look like we've got many towels so we might have to ask for a few more towels and then when you come into this bit you've got a nice big wardrobe with some oh there's someone at the door so our suitcases have just come up they're all here but as i was saying we've got a nice big kind of wardrobe area you've got a, quite a big safe there you'd be able to fit probably a laptop in there got a little luggage rack the hair dryer oh no that is actually a steamer a coast steamer how cool I like the um style of that you've got all of like the paparazzi in there a nice full length mirror again as well and then you've got like a little drinks coffee station here some nice actual proper glasses which are nice a ice bucket you've got some wine which i think is you have to pay for you've got some coffee machines and then i think you can also use this for like hot water as well so that'll be good for my mum and dad for their tea and coffee and then you've got a little fridge that has some water and wine in it as well but you obviously have to pay for that but pretty decent fridge so we'll be able to put some of our milk and like drinks and that to keep it chilled and then this is the main room so like i said we've got two queen size beds i think our bags need the one near the window and the balcony and stuff so we'll get a nice view in the morning but yeah there's a very cool universal print on the wall absolutely love that can't wait to see that in person and yeah so you've got a middle kind of like bedside table that has lots of storage in there as well nice big lamp that has some um, plugs on it and sort of a usb yeah usb port as well and then you've also got a little clock there you've got your phone you've got a little pen and paper there and then you've got some lamps and reading lights on each side of the beds there you've got a massive tv which is really nice and then you've got what we didn't have in our last hotel lots of storage so you've got four very big drawers there so we'll be able to unpack properly which will be nice and it will hopefully make the packing process when we're um, on the way home much better you've got a channel surfing guide here for the tv channels that you'll be able to have nice big kind of like desk area here which is quite nice with a desk chair there big bin and then a comfy little chair there you've then got a massive aircon unit it was absolutely freezing when we came in here so that's good and then this is our little balcony so i've only got one chair which is a bit random and a little chair um, table but i can't even begin to explain how warm it is but this is our view from the room And then I can see the jacuzzi and pool down there, which we will probably be having a look at in a little while because it's very warm, but a nice decent balcony for sure. Yeah, can't get over the view, so cool. And then I'll show you the lobby and stuff when we're um, on our way to City Walk. And with the City Walk, we can get a shuttle bus that's free included in our hotel it takes about 10 minutes and it's first come first served it runs from 8 a.m to 10 p.m i think she every said hour. every oh. hour apart from one to three which i'm assuming is when they have their lunch and stuff but we yeah um, but we used it last time we stayed here be uh, because we stayed here four years ago and we did, oh, didn't have a problem whatsoever so yeah I think we're just going to unpack some of our suitcases, put all of the things in the fridge and everything and probably freshen up and then head to City Walk. So yeah, very happy with our room, very nice and it will do us for the next five nights here. Oh, the light's a little bit weird on here. 
such a cool vibe. Even the key card is. So we've just come out of our room and we're going to head to the shops to do some provisions but this is the um, building where our room is and then I feel we're on the sixth floor so we're quite near the top and then this is towards the, towards the lobby and they actually celebrated their 50th year last year so they've still got some of like the celebrations around but there's a really cool vibe here you've got like some seating outside the pool is just around the corner and then this is the lobby that's where we got checked in but it's like a really cool like 70s vibe here you've got like a fireplace there some seating here and that's the trolley outside that takes you to universal seawalk so we'll be getting that later yeah it looks really cool so we've just come out of our hotel complex and we're walking down and oh my god it's hot it is 25 past two and i'm wearing a fully black dress so this is not gonna go well but yeah it's about a five ten a minute walk to there's a walgreens up there and i think there's a 7-eleven but we're going to ralph's which is like a supermarket to just get some waters and some orange juice and stuff we don't need any more food and a little further along there's also in and out burger which we'll be going to for dinner probably tomorrow or another day because we're heading to a city walk this evening yeah, I think this is uh, I think this is cast as either Media City or something else, and I think there's like a lot of houses that are quite expensive. So maybe we'll go and take a walk down one of the roads at some point. But there is this like bridge over here. It's got like running water. I'm not sure what they call these in the U um, US. But it's absolutely massive. Kind of reminds me of the where they did the kind of like race in Greece, if you know what I mean. Yeah, this is our view. So cool. We've come to Ralph's and they have not disappointed already. We've literally just walked in and there's so many good goodies. Pumpkin spice cupcakes there, full leaf ring donuts, little ghost cookies, pumpkin pie, an individual one. Oh my god, look at those! All of these. I remember we got a birthday cake from you for you last time we came, didn't we? Yep. Like one of those. Yes, one this feels very different to Target. It feels more like a food shop. So many different Oreo flavours. And just cookies in general. The novelty of coming into a US grocery store just will never wear off. Look at something like that! I'm glad I got Andy's um, white chocolate Reese's when I saw them because they are still quite hard to come by. Oh, Ghirardelli. I think we're going to go to the Ghirardelli shop on the Walk of Fame near it. Mmm, milk chocolate caramel, that's one of my favourites. We're down the cake mix aisle and my mum is wanting to buy everything. She's found the Dolly Parton ones and if you didn't know my brother absolutely loves Dolly Parton. There's so many different mixes. We'd literally take one of each if we could. Like the Ghirardelli ones. You get cinnamon toast, funfetti. Oh look there's even more here. Banana, or co I reckon the coconut ones so tastes nice. Mm. 
No, I'm getting what I was stuck with. Oh, the super moist spice cake mix of it. <gasps> Look, there's like um, all of the frosting as well. Mm, so cool. I'm on the lookout for any pumpkin shaped things or Halloween things because I got a little cool trinket dish from here last time we came. This is already getting very heavy. I've got these for my breakfast to save a little bit of money and I've got some Minute Maid orange juice because that's my favourite whilst we're here. Full of sugar. I wish our coffee aisles and drink aisle were as cool as this. Look, you can get the strawberry acai pink drink in a bottle. And the white chocolate mocha. I had this and it was really nice. Not of the white chocolate mocha you can't, which is annoying. But you can even get little cans of it. Ooh. A monster coffee one. I don't think that would taste very nice. Two hours later. This is a little trolley cart that we just got to Universal. It takes about 10 minutes to get there. And we're just gonna walk up to City Walk now. So we just gotta go to Tilly's to get it back and it is every, on the hour. Every hour. Every hour, quarter past the hour to get back. Yeah, we're now gonna go to City Walk. It is quarter past five. So I assume it's going to be busy with people heading to Horror Nights, but we'll probably have a browse somewhere. And yeah, just have a look. Oh wow, yeah, it is busy. Very different to the city walk in Orlando. Wow. We're just in one of the Universal stores and they've got loads of Chucky merch on here. They've got a really cool mug that my dad's getting. A candle, not sure if I'm like that. You've got a Halloween Horror Nights um, Chucky shirt. It's quite cool. A bucket hat, cotton candy and popcorn. You've got a lounge fly. How cool is that? <laughs> Thank you. You've got some stickers, patches, a massive pin. That t-shirt is cool. That t-shirt is cool. Like that. cafe there which has been changed into the two foot two sims chocolate emporium then you've got some kind of like quick service food over there but you do donuts cinema there <laughs> and into another shop that's got loads of pop figures. Hopefully it's not as busy in here. We've come into like a like a collectible store and they've got a signed oh they've got two signed hoverboards and a hat that's signed by Michael J. Fox and that's eight hundred dollars. Oh my god look there's some pop figures as well they're around four hundred dollars that's insane. 
Oh look, you can get the coat from the second one. That's so cool. Currently waiting for our table at Bubba Gump. This is a restaurant we've never eaten at before, but my dad's really excited too. So yeah, we're just waiting for our table to become ready. We just had to have a text message and it says about a 45 minute wait, so it shouldn't be too long, but it is still absolutely heaving. I can't believe how busy it is. But yeah, we're just sitting on the um, bench that he sits on in the film. It's a bit mental in here, isn't it? I went through a very boring all-American cheeseburger because I'm not a massive fan of fish. Me and my mum have got some garlic bread to share. Mum's got some onion rings and chips, a uh, fry, sorry. And my dad's got uh, one of the seasonal specials, which is Bang Bang Shrimps, which looks quite nice, and just a side of fries as well. So yeah, looking forward to having my burger. I'll show you when we're back at the hotel what we got, but I got two and my parents got one each. But yeah, we're now gonna leave City Walk and head back to get the little shuttle bus to back to our hotel. I think we're gonna chill this evening. But yeah, can't wait to have these. We are back from Universal City Walk. We had a nice evening in the end, and as you saw, we picked up some voodoo donuts, which I'm very excited to tuck into. I ended up getting two for myself because I couldn't decide. So I got the Voodoo doll. I'm going to try and show you in the bag because I don't want to get it out until I eat it. So I got the Voodoo doll which I've seen so many people get and I didn't think I would like it but then I read the actual description of it and it was something that I'd probably end up liking. So I got that one. They put that in a separate bag for us. And then I got also the maple bar, which I had last time when we went to the one in Florida. My dad got the maple bacon one, which is literally the same as mine, just with bacon. And my mum got the, what was it called? Um, a Boston something. Boston cream. Boston cream, which has like two little googly eyes on it. But this all came... 
this all came to about 20 something dollars i think it i think it came up as 20 pounds for mine oh and i also got a, uh, a magnet that i thought was a pin but i'll still keep it anyway but yeah we're just going to eat those i'm gonna have a shower ready for warner brothers tomorrow and i've realized when looking at the tickets you can't do any like videoing whilst you're there which kind of defeats the whole object of me bringing my camera along um for the day so i'll try and film a few clips on my phone and add those in for it but you probably won't kind of see me doing talking to camera things tomorrow that much until we're probably out of warner brothers but really looking forward to that so i'll probably put that um in with this vlog as well um just because i feel like i haven't filmed too much today so yeah i shall see you in a few seconds for our day at warner brothers and kind of going around hollywood good morning everyone welcome to the second part of this vlog we are heading to warner brothers studio tour this morning i've dressed appropriately with this t-shirt from new look that i picked up for like four pounds my mum's got a t-shirt on too i've just got a vintage um neck skirt and my new band that's on with my uniqlo bag but yeah we're gonna head there I'm not bringing this camera with me today so anything you see from now on will be filmed on my phone so hopefully it'll be alright but you're not allowed to really, there's no video photography whatsoever in Warner Brothers so whatever you do see are things that I'm like to sneak in and stuff. But yeah and then I think we're heading to a shopping centre this afternoon and maybe the Walk of Fame and the kind of like the Hollywood area because I want to go to the Funko shop and my mum wants to go to Danny Trejo's um, cantina so yeah a day of kind of exploring and stuff but first we've got Warner Brothers so let's go we have arrived at Warner Brothers studio tour we've got one door woman out here I think we've just got to go in here we are in the entrance and you've got loads of new bits from the Barbie movie to all the costumes and the car. How cool is this? And you've got some bits over there as well. So cool. Clean slippers. Just looking at some of the pins. We've got like the classic Corner Brothers one there. Let's see how much that is. $7.95, not bad at all. I feel like that's one of like the Warner Bros. Studio Tour ones. $7.95 too. There's loads of merch in this shop. This is completely different to when we came last time. We've come into a different building. The shop is completely different. You weren't really able to go into it before the studio tour last time. There's a Starbucks here, which is really nice. It's feels much more modern. But you've got like loads of Looney Tunes bits. Warner Brothers is actually celebrating 100 years, just like Disney. So hoping to have some celebrations throughout the tour as well. But you've got loads of Harry Potter stuff, so it's a cool Death Eater on there. This is me. Yeah, lots of bits. My dad's trying on a Warner Brothers t-shirt. That's nice. Like that. It's got 100 on the back. Yeah, that's really nice. There's a cool t-shirt cool there as well. So this looks like it's more of just like the Warner Brothers Oh, it is a lot of the 100 celebration stuff. That's nice. Hopefully I'll have a pin. There is loads of Gilmore Girl stuff here. Oh my God, they've got lounge fly bags. Like her uniform. How cool. All oh, those pins might have to come home with me. And the Luke's um, mug. How cool is the Luke's mug? And look, there is a lounge fly of that as well. So cool. I love coffee, I really love coffee. Very appropriate. Oh, something might have to come home with me here. Oh look, there's some magnets as well. 
lots of friends stuff as well we've not even been on the tour yet and I've already made some purchases you have to wait for the haul to see what I ended up buying but our studio tour time is coming up shortly so we probably won't even have a chance to get a Starbucks or anything but I'm sure we'll be looking around here again after we finish so much cool stuff that we just can't get in the UK my well, dad's having a look at the stickers there but all of this is like the 100 years bit some really nice merch looks like the tour entrance is over there part of our tour and we are just at Central Park to get something to drink and eat and then we've got a self-guided bit but it is so good I, I'm loving it so far and it's different to what we did last time which is cool we went on to a like a proper set of a film as well, uh, filming a TV show as well which is really cool we weren't allowed to take any photos or videos of that so if I remember what the show was called, I'll let you know. But yeah, it's very cool. We're just going to have a look at We've got like some sandwiches there, some salads, crisps, but there's also some hot food over there as well. So I'll probably have a look at that. I've got the turkey and candied bacon sandwich with a pumpkin spice latte. It came to about $23, so it's not the cheapest. But we just sat on the famous orange sofa in Central Park and it's got some of the costumes, that's one of Phoebe's costumes. We've got the counter over there. Got some of the episodes playing. Very cool. Well got pizza as well. Yeah looking forward to this. We're now in the self-guided bit. We've just had our lunch at Central Park. So we're just going to walk around. I believe this is where the Central Park and Big Bang Theory sets are. But yeah, we're just going to have a look around here with this. This is all about screenwriting. A lot of this stuff in here last time was for Oh, it still is Crazy Rich Asians and A Star Is Born. Got some ones from Space Jam. That's cool. Selena, I'm not sure what that's about. So cool. Queuing up to do the famous sofa photo for the friends set. How cool is this? Got a lot of costumes from My Fair Lady. Leading ladies. You've then got some of the big fan fairy stuff. So this is the canteen. How oh, cool. You've got the lobby. 
and then you've got the living room and the kitchen. our tour at the Warner Brothers Studio Tour Hollywood and it was really good it was a lot different to when we did it four years ago like the entrance was completely different we didn't see as much on this tour but it was kind of nice to do something different and like have a look at the different different kind of like sets and it's nice that they've actually kind of made a point of doing the wizarding world and like the action bit because it was last year i'll see if i can put some photos in from the um, time we did it last time because like all of the kind of superhero bits were in like a warehouse kind of thing and we got to go to the prop house and things but this was a little bit different but we have just ordered an uber my mum's using it for the first time to um take some stress out of me or always ordering them to the beverly center which is where my dad wanted to do a little bit of shopping there's a bath and body works so we're gonna have a look around there and then probably head to funko hollywood hopefully yeah looking forward to having a little bit of air con it's getting warmer and warmer here so we got had our tour at 10 30 and it is now 10 past two so it's taken up a good portion of our day but yeah we really enjoyed it and got some treats as well so yeah let's go to the beverly center we are now in the beverly center and we're in a very funky <coughs> elevator we are now exiting the Beverly Center and we can see the Hollywood sign. How cool is that? We are in a TJ Maxx at the moment for the Halloween stuff and I really want these but it's so heavy. It's only $7.99. They've got so many cool stuff. They've got a Hocus Pocus little sign over there some more just like full autumn stuff how amazing is that i wish i could take so much of it home and it looks like they're getting some of their christmas stuff out as well oh, we're here 
we've arrived at Gossier and how amazing is this? I realised I didn't end the vlog last night so this is me ending it the next morning. I think I was so tired and that margarita I had in Tres Cantina went to my head a little bit and it made me very sleepy so we had a very nice meal there. I would definitely recommend going there if anyone um, is in the area. It's not too far from Funko Hollywood I think and kind of like the Hollywood Boulevard and walk of fame and stuff so yeah definitely recommend but thank you so much for watching this vlog i know it was a bit bitty i i think i've um squashed two days into one vlog just because it wasn't worth kind of doing it one each but yeah we had a really nice time at warner brothers studio tour so i hope you enjoyed coming along for all of the bits i could film but i shall see you next week for a brand new video which will be our day at universal um, Hollywood which is where we're about to head out now so I shall see you next week. Bye! <laughs>